Now that Roy is gone, we can snoop in his area a little bit. What does he have here? Hmm. He has a desk, lots of papers, random pictures, and ah, ha ha, ha ha, what's this? It's a card. It's a card for his hostel. Right, remember, Roy is living in Siggy's hostel. It's right over here. The best hostel city. Well, let's hope there aren't any hostel people here. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, Carol's keeping Len in her inventory now? That's so adorable. Oh, oh, well, the culprit tried to attack Len, so she's not letting Len out of her sight. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, so 3997 is the code, uh, according to Roy's piece of paper. Uh, he's in room 27, so that's, uh, upstairs. No, 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 not 27. 26! He's in room 26. So what does he have here in his room? Okay, he's got a computer. He's got, uh, some sort of suitcase. He's basically living out of a suitcase. Ah, uh, clothes, man underwear. Yeah, nothing, nothing interesting there. But what's this? These are very similar to the ones in Krista Pettersson's stash. Yep, Roy is still on drugs. I knew it. And what's this? So this is a, a drop-off site. So I'll be standing at the highest spot, waving a signal flag. You land over here. Interesting. So is he flying a plane or something? Roy is flying planes? Interesting. So from now on, I'll send destinations and concealed writing. All you have to do is heat the paper. I use that method with Harry. Was Harry dealing drugs with Roy? I don't know. This seems like a very complicated scheme. And I realized I made a mistake. Okay, so... <laughs> whoops. So in order to, um... In order to heat a piece of paper, you're going to need a lighter. And I forgot to get a lighter. There, There is a lighter in, uh, in, in Harry's place. And as you can see, the hostel is very close to the place where Olaf Palme was murdered. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go to Harry's apartment. Harry's apartment. The lighter is uh, over here. So we've been carrying this key around forever, right? The key from Harry's shirt opens up this. Good, so there's the lighter, and a very important piece of paper. I paid Krille to steal the revolver box from Sige. Uh, the gun went with the revolver box, so I let him keep it. Krille was convinced Sige knew he was the one who stole the revolver. It is very dear to Sige, because it belonged to his father. But Sige kept all his criminal activities to a minimum after the murder. He probably suspected the gun was the murder weapon, and didn't want to raise suspicions. Krill was supposed to leave the country the day after the murder. He already had the ticket to Finland, but nothing went as planned. He, he did take the ferry to Finland the morning after the murder. He dumped the weapon in the sea, but then he went back to Sweden. That's highly sensitive information. I can't ask Sigge about that now. We'll have to keep it. Yeah, so let's take a look at this, uh, this, this murder weapon thing. It's, uh, it was the summer house. The summer house, right? So we saw the summer house. Oh, oh, we, we haven't actually opened this part of the summer house yet. Well, that's, that's where that, that sort of murder weapon thing is. Okay, another puzzle, another puzzle here. In, in, in the house. So let's see. It was this. Okay, so this hidden spot... I was mistaken about this hidden spot. My apologies. So I thought that... Oh, let me get to the hidden spot. I thought somebody had uh, moved uh, moved this cabinet to the side. But no, they just moved the picture to the side, which makes a lot more sense. A lot more sense, and I don't know the code. What's the code? 515-1951. 515-1951. Nine five one, and 
that's the picture of this. What is it? Is it valuable jewelry? Next drop off. Oh, information about the drop off, I see. Well, we know how to figure out where that thing is, don't we? So we grab this uh, firewood, we set it on fire. Fancy. And then we heat this paper. Nimbus. Nimbus, huh? This is the classic baking soda method. Oh, so he wrote that message uh, with baking soda. So that's how you do that, huh? Well, what do you know? Interesting. So, Nimbus. Let's go to Nimbus. I'd Nimbus. better return Roy's pass card first. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, we should do that. We should do that. He's probably going to get super suspicious if he comes back to work and finds his, his pass card is gone. Where do I leave it? It was here, right? Over here? I'd like to leave it to Roy personally. Otherwise, it might seem suspicious. Really? I don't know. I, th I think it should be fine if you just drop it off in this general area, right? He, he won't notice, right? So where is Roy, anyway? I don't see him here. I... Hmm. Is he... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Well, we couldn't see this earlier. He's got his phone here. How on earth could you think I'd be able to land there? There are rocks everywhere. We need a new time and certainly a new place. Ah, more about this delivery. No! Hmm. Oh, oh! Are you looking for something? Not anymore, I'm not! Hi, I found your pass card on the floor. Strange. Well, thank you for bringing it. You're welcome. Anything else? You're welcome, you're welcome. So hopefully now he believes I'm a good person who did not break into his house. And uh, now that I've just purchased a lot of goodwill with Roy, I'm just gonna squander it. Hey Roy, you like aliens? Crazy alien guy? I saw a flying saucer last night! <laughs> you did? Around here? Oh yeah, yeah! It was hovering above the bunker! There were aliens and they had three heads with ten eyeballs! It was amazing! You're pulling my leg. Get out. And come back when you have a solid observation. Okay, now he hates me. <laughs> I don't know why Carol said that. That's uncharacteristically rude of her. Like, she doesn't usually make fun of people for believing in aliens, right? Okay, so here in Nimbus, we have uh, a sledgehammer. Oh, that could come in handy. Yep. This is a really cool location. It's just a really fancy bridge. Really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah. So let's see, there are two things to check out here. One is this. So that's the signal flag that Roy was using. Estonia, Sweden by helicopter, deliver an old town. The old town? That's where Sigur ran his casino. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It seems like they have smuggled something by helicopter. Yeah, so Roy was smuggling something by helicopter. I'm still not sure what it is. It could be drugs, could be something else. Oh no, it looks like we've we've come across another plot. Like, maybe this isn't just about the murder of Olaf Palme. Maybe we've got some smugglers here. Hmm, and we do want to take a look at this spot. This is cool. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, let's climb up. Yeah, what is this? Whoa. Well, when you climb up here, Amber sends you a text message. She just got a letter from Harry. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you actually do have to climb up to that particular spot. If you do not, you, do, you don't get that text message. Something about standing there causes Amber to send you text messages. Okay, so let's, let's leave and uh, get this message from Amber. Amber. You got a letter from Harry? At first, I couldn't believe that the letter was delivered so late. It was like a message from the dead. Yeah. But then I realized that he got my street address all wrong. Oh, well, that definitely explains the delay. Amber, 
I hope to see you soon so we can share a bottle of Canadian whiskey. However, in the unlikely event that, uh, that, that might not happen, here are things I want you to know. Uh, my summer house... Oh, he gives her the address and the code to get into the summer house. I had to solve puzzles to find that out, sir, and you just gave it to her? In the loft, you'll find the map with rectangles, some are colored. The rectangles represent houses in the dead city. Oh, and it even tells us what the dead city is. Oh my gosh. So all the stuff we found out was in this letter. So something of importance is hidden in this city. I don't know where, but I'm almost sure I have all the clues to find it. You open the right door in the wardrobe. So that door that you can't open. The door that you can't open in the wardrobe? Just lift the door slightly and uh, you'll open it just fine. So yeah, it's not actually locked. It's just the, the lock is kind of tricky. That's all. Yeah. The contents of the letter seem very complex to me. But I'm sure that it's right down your alley. It's definitely the sort of puzzle I like solving. Thank you very much, Amber. Okay, so uh, at the very end of the letter it said that's where the revolver box is. The revolver that we read about. The revolver used to kill Olaf Palme. That box is inside the right-hand part of the wardrobe. 